Have you ever thought of converting your website or online store to mobile app without building everything from scratch? I have a great tip for you. Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about something very exciting that is taking developer world by storm, Telegram mini apps. Trust me, this is something you want on your coding radar. So what exactly are Telegram mini apps? Think of them as a powerful web app, but here is a twist. They live directly inside Telegram. No downloads, no separate apps. Everything happened inside the chat window, giving your users seamless experience. It's like a website, but with Telegram superpowers. And here are key points why Telegram mini apps so promising. The first one, instant access. Your users never leave Telegram, meaning higher engagement. The second one, easy authentication. Users authenticate instantly using their Telegram accounts. The third one is actually a very interesting one, built-in payments. Sell your stuff using Apple Pay, Google Pay, even crypto payments, everything inside Telegram. And the last one I picked is massive audience, instant access to a Telegram 800 plus million users. And by the way, Telegram also has its own stores where you can publish your apps. Excited yet? Let's quickly pick at how you build your own. Creating your first Telegram mini app is surprisingly simple, and I will show you big picture. As the first step we need to create a web app. I have already done it. I used React for that and I created a very simple online store. It has very basic functionality. We have here a few products. Also we can add them to cart. Uh, we can see details and add it to cart from here. Also we can check cart. We can clear it or we can continue shopping. And basically that's it. I will walk you through the code of this app uh, right in the moment, but first uh, let's discuss uh, the next steps. For the second step, we need to do two things. First, we need to deploy our app. Um, for that I used Vercel, but you can use any other service. Second thing, uh, we need to create our mini app inside Telegram. For that, we need to use a bot father. It's another bot in Telegram for developers. Uh, so there we can create our bots or mini apps. Once we create it, mini app we need to provide that url where our web app is deployed so we can open it inside telegram and in the final step i will show you how to integrate some telegram features inside the web app for demo purpose i will show you how to integrate uh, telegram buttons and telegram pop-ups inside that web app and basically that's it so now let's dive into code so as the first thing let's uh, take a look at uh, package.json file so here i use vit i use react i use tailwind css and also additionally I installed a daisy UI library just to make uh, components look nice and uh, don't build the styles from scratch. And by the way, if you want to know more about uh, UI libraries, in my previous video uh, I did overview of three of them, which is daisy UI, material UI and ShadCN. So if you're interested in uh, UI libraries and you want to pick the right one for your project, uh, please take a look at my previous video. Okay, let's uh, move forward and open app uh, component file. So here we have these three routes, home page, product page, and cart page. Also we have header here and we have cart provider just to keep the cart state. So let's uh, go and take a look inside cart provider. In the beginning of the file, I defined the types I need for the cart and actually for the cart functionality, I used uh, React context uh, just to make uh, things simple. Here in cart uh, provider, you can see the methods uh, we need for cart is add to cart, is remove from cart and clear cart. As well here we have calculation of total price and total items. And here we have that cart context provider, the one you saw in the app component. And now let's uh, browse uh, components folder. So let's start with a cart item. So here we need the remove from cart method in our cart item. Uh, that's it what we have here. And also we have product name, description, price, name, and image. And by the way, product is defined in data folder. Here we have all this uh, for products. Now let's take a look at the header. In header also we use use cart um, custom hook, uh, but here we need just total items to um, display in the header near to the cart icon. Here we also use custom hook in um, product card. We need it for adding uh, product to the card actually. So, and here you can see we have handle add to cart handler and inside we have add to cart and this handler we use on that add to cart button. 
And now product grid, a very simple component just to place uh, our products in the row. And let's jump now into pages. So here we have our cart page. Again, we use here custom hook and from this custom hook we use clear cart, total price and items. In home page, we just have that static welcome message and also we render our product grid. Product page is a bit more complex. Here we use um, params, the ID of the product and also our custom hook and we need here add to cart a method as well, which we use on add to cart button. And that's it. So now we need to deploy this web app. Uh, then we need to go to Telegram to create a mini app and then we need to connect them together. Okay, so I have already deployed uh, the app using Vercel. It's actually super easy. I just uh, went to Vercel, specify um, the Git repository and the branch I want to deploy from and that's it. The app is deployed and here is it and here is the URL to the app. So I can use this URL to integrate my web app to Telegram. So now let's open Telegram and initialize mini app so then we can integrate web app to Telegram. I will use a desktop version of uh, Telegram just to have better visuals. Okay, so first we need to press here start and then we can use that menu button and we need to create a new bot first. Okay, we need to type the name of the bot. Okay, let it be Telegram mini app store demo. Okay, now we need to create username and it's supposed to end with a bot. Okay, let it be like that. So the bot is created. Now we need to press again this menu button and select new app, create a new web app. And for this web app, we need to select our Telegram mini app store demo bot, the one we just created. So now we need to create a title for the web app. Let's try like that. So now we need a short description. Let it be just a mini store demo. Okay, now we need to upload a photo and it says it's supposed to be 640 by 360 pixels. Let's do that. Okay, I have prepared already such an image. So now it says that we can upload a GIF or send empty to skip that step. Empty. So now it says, please send me the web app URL. So let's do that. So we paste it here. So now we need to specify the short name of the web app. Let it be mini store. Okay, so now it says you can now use mini store as the short name parameter value in bot API. So and here we have a link to our app. Let's click it. So now we have a warning that we are supposed to open the app. Let's press launch. And here is it. As you see, it opened uh, this app uh, in some kind of um, browser. So here is it, all the products and also working functionality. So we can add products to the cart, we can remove them, we can clear the cart, we can start shopping, etc. And also if you try it in your mobile phone, it will look like a typical uh, mobile app. Okay, so let's move on and let's try to bring some uh, Telegram features like uh, buttons and pop-ups to a web app and see how it looks. When I've tried to, to implement uh, Telegram mini app, uh, so the first thing I came to my mind is to find uh, libraries which can help me to integrate my uh, React app with the uh, Telegram functionality. So I found a few of them, but unfortunately they behaved in unexpected way. So I didn't succeed to integrate. Um, probably I have to give another try, but I went to uh, Telegram mini apps uh, documentation. So, and by the way, you can see here some examples of the app, some games, uh, for example. In documentation, they have that initializing mini apps section. This is the one we need. And here they explain how to connect a mini app to the Telegram client. And just for that, we need to paste this script into our index uh, file in the head section. And here is it. And then it is explained that once the script is connected, a window Telegram web app object will become available with the following fields and here are the fields and actually there are a lot of interesting things for example there is back button main button secondary button settings button you can use gyroscope here you can use device storage location manager and a lot of a lot of interesting things so today we implement uh, the basic things like uh, buttons and pop-ups so let's try to do that so how are we gonna approach that? Let's create another hook, uh, let's call it use Telegram um, and the responsibility of this hook is gonna be to interact with Telegram. 
But before implementation of the hook, I created another folder types and here I placed some types for Telegram. So that's going to be a general types, uh, which we can use for different purposes. Now let's create hooks folder and create a file use telegram.ts. Okay, so what I have done here, so I added additional interfaces for the proper typing. Um, also, we have the global one here, uh, which is for Windows Telegram web app, so it will not complain uh, for uh, this part. Um, so inside the use Telegram hook, we have a few use states. Uh, we have web app uh, state, we, ha we have user state and uh, loading state. Also here on the mount, we run in the user fact. So we need to check if that Telegram and Telegram web app is available. If not, we will um, throw an error, console error. Then we need uh, to refer to that window Telegram web app and call ready and expand to have the proper mobile view. And here also we check for the user if user exists. Uh, so we set this user to the state of use telegram hook. And basically that's it. And this hook returns web app user and is loading. So now we can implement it in our components and uh, try to add some buttons and pop-ups. I have already did uh, the changes to components and integrated the use telegram hook. And let's start with the home page. Uh, so here we use the web app and user from the uh, use telegram hook. First, uh, we fire here user fact. And in this user fact, we check availability of web app and main button in that web app. And then we are gonna use this uh, main button. So the first thing we set text to this button is gonna be browse uh, t-shirts. And also we need to specify that show method. And on the unsubscription, we need to set hide. Also, we can handle the click um, for that buttons, but in this case, we are not gonna do that. This is just to show how this um, button looks and placed in the app. Product page is a bit uh, more complex. Uh, so here we use a web app from use Telegram hook. And uh, the first we use this web app in use effect here. So we do the same check for web app and web app main button. So here again, we set text at to cart in that case. And here we have a handler for this main button. So on click, we're gonna add product to cart and also we're gonna show pop up that product is added to cart. In cart page, we also use that main button and the handler of that main button uh, with a pop up. And also we can add that pop-up on our cart clear. And besides that, the same pop-up we can use in handle add to cart in the product cart. So now let's go to Telegram and uh, take a look how it works. Okay, and here is it. Uh, by the way, I had to redeploy my web app because Telegram is caching uh, the web apps. So I need to um, redeploy just to get um, the changes appear in that um, Telegram mini app. So let's take a look. Um, as you see here, we have a username. This is my name, by the way. Um, and here in the bottom, we have that browse t-shirt button. It's uh, actually telegram button what we have added. So now let's uh, press details of the product. And here, as you see, we've got that add to cart button. And as we press, we got a pop-up saying that added classic t-shirt to cart. We can close it. We can take a look at the cart and it's here. And also here we have that checkout button. And if we press clear cart, we have pop up um, cart has been cleared. So this is the basic integration so far. So wrapping up, you can do a lot of cool stuff uh, using uh, Telegram and building uh, mini apps in Telegram. That could be the apps which provide some service or e-commerce apps or even the games with this uh, fancy graphics. So there are a lot of cool things which you can implement. Telegram mini apps are not just a trend. Uh, they're shaping Telegram into a full on digital ecosystem like WeChat. Whether it's gaming, e-commerce or financial tools, uh, this is your chance to jump in early.
All right, friends, uh, this is a quick uh, guide uh, to Telegram mini apps, what they are, why they rock, and how you can create your own. If you want uh, more videos about Telegram mini apps and uh, its advanced features and uh, more deep dive, please write in the comments and I will shoot another video. Also, let me know in the comments if you like such a format of the video or you want more coding, more deep dives, just let me know. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, it will help to grow a channel. That's it for today, stay tuned for more Dev Insights and see you in the next one.